oh boy brother boy goodness gracious what did we just sit through <laughs> okay so i don't know where you guys stand i see most of the public is probably going to agree with me on this and i think everybody pretty much is going to agree with this but of course there's going to be people that think i'm just you know i hate nintendo and i don't want anything good from nintendo and that you know i'm blind and stuff but you know those people that always just are on nintendo's you know side for everything it's just going to happen so i'm just going to be straight honest with you i'm going to come out the gate right now and say it a d minus almost an f <laughs> this direct was one of the worst things I've ever had to sit through in my life. It was about 45 minutes of the hardest sit through of a presentation ever. I, I mean, like seriously. And I know I, I've kind of changed my thinking going into to Nintendo Directs, not really expecting anything like really at all. And somehow I still got extremely let down. Uh, I don't even know what to expect anymore. Like, do I not get excited for Nintendo Directs at all? Do I just not even watch them? I'm like... Okay, let, let's talk about it. Let's be honest. Let's be real. Let's talk about what happened. And let's, let me explain kind of where I'm coming from here. Yes, there were a couple of big things shown off here. And there were some big announcements. And the reason why I still have given it such a low letter grade isn't really because of those announcements. Um, it's along the fact of just the pacing and the overall structure of Nintendo Directs now are so unbelievably boring that it almost tarnishes some of these announcements. It's almost like these announcements aren't even that hype anymore. Um, and, you know, let me tell you, for, for instance, the first 20 minutes of this 45-minute direct was dedicated to JRPGs and farming games. No joke. And other, like, smaller third-party titles. The first 20 minutes. The first 20 minutes. They started the show with Fire Emblem like they do every single Nintendo Direct ever they always started with fire emblem or xenoblade and i don't understand why they started the show with fire emblem they had another spotlight for octopath traveler 2 and in between both of those games were nothing but jrpgs and i'm not hating on jrpgs i'm not hating on fire emblem i'm not hating on octopath traveler the problem is the pay sing there's no chance you can have 20 minutes of jrpg gameplay and farming simulators for 20 minutes that's half of the Nintendo Direct itself. People are, you know, at this point, they've given up hope. I've given up hope, and, you know, for good reason. Clearly, you see, you know, nothing else came. It was an abomination, seriously. Now, there were good things here. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. I love that Kirby game. It's one of my favorite Kirby games. That is awesome. Pikmin freaking 4, finally. They didn't show really anything about the game, but it's coming next year, apparently. Hopefully, we'll see if that actually comes to fruition or if it gets delayed again. Um, and then, obviously, you know, The Legend of Zelda, was it Tears of the Kingdom now? The sequel to Breath of the Wild, which is super exciting, even though it was also a small trailer. We're going to talk more about those in a second, but I just think the pacing was terrible lots of these bigger announcements we had to wait like 30 minutes into the direct even more than that 35 minutes into the direct to finally get some information about stuff that the general public cared about and it just like they need better pacing there's no way they can throw in 20 to 25 minutes of the same genre of gaming i'm just like people are losing interest here it was just bad you know, there's nothing else I can really say about it. It was a bad show. And you can argue with me and say, no, it wasn't. I don't care. It was a bad show. But let's talk about some other things outside of the JRPG stuff. So we got um, some cool things shown off. We got Switch Sports. Uh, it's having its golf update. Also, which was weird, it got pushed to, you know, the holiday season instead of fall now. So we got to wait for that. Um, Splatoon came in with a quick update just talking about the next Splatfest. Like I said, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. How Labs is single-handedly carrying nintendo this year um seriously if it wasn't for them i don't know where we'd be so how labs thank you for the kirby content i love it uh i was actually thinking it was going to be forgotten land dlc at first when i saw kirby but this new art style it's a little different for uh kirby's return to dream land but i like it you know i'm just excited to have this game again on the switch now another thing and another reason why i don't have to pull out the old wii and stuff or the wii u um but i love that i love that a lot Mario Kart got Wave 3 looked at, like it showed two tracks, it showed Peach Gardens and Merry Mountain. 
why? I, I don't know. It just said it was coming in this holiday, which is probably end up going to be December. But they gave us a sneak peek, I guess, to show us at least just two of the eight tracks, which is, like I said, extremely weird. I, I, I don't I don't know why they even did that. And, you know, to me, that's just like we have no content. We have to show something, Mario. Um, they showed Mario Rabbits again, of course, gave it a little quick overview. We knew that was going to happen. Bayonetta got a quick overview. Um, but Pikmin 4, this was a weird one. This showed me that Nintendo really doesn't have much to talk about. They had Miyamoto come on screen and talk about Pikmin Bloom for maybe five minutes. Talked about the places that he's visited, what he's done with his Pikmin. That tells me that no one's really playing this game and he's trying to get a general, you know, kind of, you know, market of people to come and play the game. No one cares about Pikmin Bloom. If there's anything they're playing from Niantic, it's Pokemon Go. They're not playing Pikmin Bloom. This is just not interesting and Miyamoto was trying his best to make it interesting, but I knew there was going to be a follow-up. There was a reason why they, he was talking about Pikmin and how long it's been since the last Pikmin game. So I knew that there was something special for us. And yes, we got Pikmin 4, baby. Pikmin 4 is coming. It doesn't look... I, I, I don't know what to say about it right now. You know, personally in my head, I thought Pikmin 4 was not a thing. It was going to be like Pikmin World, a big, huge, brand new Pikmin game. That's not the case. Pikmin 4 is looking like it's just going to be, you know, the next game in the franchise with just, you know, new worlds to explore, new stuff to, you know, do. And um, what's interesting about this one, this one kind of gave me, like, almost like neighborhood vibes, as if, like, this one is taking place in, like, uh, a city or a neighborhood or kind of, like, you know, an old ruined town, which is really unique. There was, like, a backyard with a fence and stuff that it was taking place in, which I really liked. He also talked a little bit about it. Like I said, I'm going to go into this in, you know, more detail and more depth. But they also talked about the fact that, um, I think is a new camera play style where it's kind of, you know, downward towards the Pikmin view, which is amazing, which is something that I've been talking about for a while. Instead of just having the overhead camera, this time the camera is like behind the player, um, which is awesome. I think that's going to be amazing. That's something that I really wanted them to do. And it's going to really work for eventually when they do want to go open world with it. I don't think this one's going to be open world at all, um, but I am very excited for this game for sure. And then there was a couple other small things. I could be forgetting things. Um, but the, obviously the show ended with Zelda. No Zelda ports. No Wind Waker. No Twilight Princess. Um, but there was, in fact, Breath of the Wild 2 in the name of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, what's interesting is they said they didn't want to give us this title before because it was going to spoil the game. I still don't have a clue what this game is going to be about. Tears of the Kingdom. That doesn't really make me say, dang it, they spoiled the game now. I don't know why it took them so long to give us that title. Um, I still think they were probably just trying to figure out what title they wanted to use. Because Tears of the Kingdom does not make me think one thing or another. So, I don't know. But Tears of the Kingdom, they showed literally almost no gameplay again. They just showed Link kind of skydiving off of some high point walking through some doors. And then we saw Link kind of like sky riding some type of... You know, air, bird, dragon, spaceship thing. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to have to go into details about this later on. Um, not much else, though. You know, once again, him using the, you know, kind of rewind time feature to take a rock up into the sky. There was some weird things going on. But overall, like, it's still, like, I have no clue what this game is going to be about. What the gimmick is. You know, I thought for sure that this next trailer would be the big one showing us what the heck this game is. Still no. So, but yeah, here's the kingdom, everybody. I'm, you know, some people are like, this is a weird name. Of course, it's going to be a weirder name. It's not going to be, like, kind of, you know, catchy or anything like the other ones. Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Skyward Sword, like those two words. Because Breath of the Wild. I mean, that, that's already a weird one. So, I knew it was going to be something like that. But those things are great. Those things are awesome. But they were minor. Like, they almost felt like just title drops. You know, Zelda felt like a title drop with very little gameplay. Pikmin didn't really have any gameplay at all. Showed a little bit of the world and then just said Pikmin 4, which I'm just glad Pikmin's here. Um, so that doesn't really matter. But everything else, not so great indeed. But yes, Splatoon is going to be what carries us out with Pokemon this year. Next year, we have Fire Emblem in January. Uh, and it's actually on my birthday, January 20th, very interestingly enough. Um, and then we have the brand new The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I had to get used to that name um coming in may which is very exciting uh, i don't have the exact release date you probably see it in the trailer that i'm replaying over and over again on, on the screen but um yeah and then i think pikmin 4 is sometime next year and then that's about it once again it just feels like there's just stuff missing i don't know how in the world fire emblem and xenoblade um, and we even have another Splatoon for crying out loud before we get another Mario game. That, that's just mind blowing. And like I was telling people before, they was like, oh no, Bowser's Fury is just a small little project, you know, before they release the next big one, which is going to be like a year later or something. Bowser's Fury was probably considered to be the next Mario game, and we probably won't see Mario again for another two years. Watch. I, I don't know why it's taking so long for them to show off another 3D Mario game or even a 2D Mario game for crying out loud. Where is Mario? 
Like, where is he? This is five years since Odyssey. Where is Mario? I don't know what's going on. That's going to have to be a video of, of itself right there because, you know, I, I'm tired of people saying, like, just wait, it's happening, just be patient. How much more patient can we... Where is Mario? Like, there's a freaking Mario movie in the spring next year. If there is another Mario game coming, it has to be announced in the, you know, early next year's spring direct. That's the only thing I can see. They have to show off a Mario game. I would really expect there to be one to release alongside the movie, right? I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this direct overall, just not the greatest. Honestly, I, I'd give it still like a D minus. Um, almost want to give it an F. You know, I was really fighting because, you know, if it wasn't for Pikmin, I'd say that's what saved it. You know, I don't think Zelda's title was anything that huge. We knew he was going to get a title. They didn't show any gameplay still. Um, Pikmin saved it. Pikmin saved it from being probably a complete and utter disaster. I am happy for those that are excited for Fire Emblem and Octopath Traveler 2, but dag gone, you cannot fill a whole direct with games that are based around farming simulators and JRPGs only. You have to have a balance, you have to spread things out, and clearly it shows that Nintendo just doesn't have games right now. They don't have games ready, and I don't know why. People are still going to tell me in the comments, the pandemic, it's almost 2023. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of, of, of saying that, but, um, yeah, there's, there's something else going on. I don't know what's taking them so long to get some of their core franchises back out and stuff. Um, no Metroid, which was rumored heavily. Um, I know we're not supposed to dive into rumors and believe them, but still no Metroid. Um, no Zelda ports, none of that. But, uh, yeah, of course I want to hear what you guys say. I know a lot of you guys are going to be upset. I know a lot of you guys are going to agree with me. And that's okay. Just let me know, you know, why you disagree or why you do agree in the comments down below. And thank you so much for tuning in. I want to actually talk about Pikmin and, and get on to even talking about Zelda a little bit. So uh, I will be trying to be making more videos, you know, rather later today or tomorrow and stuff. So look forward to that. Make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date on all things Nintendo all the time. And I will see you all on the next one. See you guys.